Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we thought we should uh, make a video while walking in the neighborhood. Um, I'm no, not sure. I look so short. Do you? I mean, I am shorter than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. You, look, it <laughs> you do look beautiful as always. Aww, thank you. Yeah. He doesn't want to get in trouble, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, Alright, so what are we talking about today? So today I thought... Um, I have been giving this a thought lately a lot uh, that uh, when we posted video about uh, New Brunswick that everybody should move here, a lot of people uh, criticize us. Um, it was definitely, some of it was uh, constructive criticism which we definitely mm -hmm. welcome at any cost yeah but uh, some people are so against new brunswick and i definitely see where they are coming from um there there every place has its pros and cons yeah. what do you think about that i mean that's that's definitely true every Every place has its pros and cons and I guess we are we've been giving a lot of pros regarding St. John New Brunswick because that's honestly our honest experience because we've been living here we've tried so many different things we use the system so in many different ways and we kind of know what's good and what's bad and yes we've been kind of giving what's good out there because I think the good that's kind of out was the word outweigh outweigh the bad. the bad because i mean like there's good more than bad but i mean that's fair we'll just say what do we like about saint john and what we don't like about it and definitely there are things that we don't like about so yeah so good. hi good afternoon so that's the beauty of canada everyone you see even you know them or not they always say hi or yeah. good afternoon, good day, good morning. This is uh, our Islam tells us to do such a thing. Greet people with smile. Yeah. And uh, I don't see that in Pakistan, honestly. I don't see in any Muslim country. Um, but here in Canada, most of the things that Islam taught us, that teaches us, I saw them here practically. So anyways um so we were talking about new brunswick definitely yeah. we are going to make um, another video which is going to be on cons of uh, new brunswick and definitely there are many the uh, the infrastructure is not really good uh, we do have a lot of potholes yeah <laughs> here in <laughs> the uh, roads John. are kind of screwed up a little bit yeah we're gonna make oh. video about that. Um, the healthcare system has its own flaws. Um, there but are that's almost throughout Canada, I guess, regarding the health system because health healthcare is free in Canada. So obviously, it, it gets super busy because it's free, right? So, and I think because New Brunswick and specifically St. John, it's a smaller city. So there is not a lot of resources, a big capacity of hospitals that can help out everything. And recently, I mean, with the COVID, there's nothing to hide, right? So it becomes super busy, but thankfully there are these uh, walk-in clinics and after hour clinics that are helping out with lowering the busyness of the hospitals okay so in the in the meantime i would like to show some of the uh, neighborhood sceneries as well so guys we just wanted to let you know that we are here just talking about our own experience we're not being compensated by any but whatsoever not the government or anything it's just us here talking about saint john because when we moved to saint john there were so many things that we didn't know about all the settlement services all the people out there that are trying to help everybody to settle easily in saint john we didn't know about that and we don't want you to have the same experience we're just here giving our own opinion you want to move to saint john we're just making it better and telling you our experience and at the end of the day, it's your opinion, it's your choice. 
I'm just putting it out there again that we are not being compensated by government or any other government institution uh, for making these videos, um, telling people the truth. This is all solely on our experiences. Oh. So we are just sharing our experience. Okay. Now, back to the neighborhood. <laughs> so we live on East St. John and we love East. The reason we bought a house on the East side of St. John because everything is nearby all of your amenities are nearby and when i say amenities i mean the shopping mall costco our jobs are nearby the east side well, well my, my, jo <laughs> my, <laughs> my job is not nearby his jobs are kind of far yeah. but who cares i am being comfortable here yeah but that's it's really what you always thought eh? <laughs> the neighborhood is really quiet it's beautiful it's like it's not in the city so it's not that busy, the roads are not crazy busy, but it's also still nearby each and everything that we want. We have the field house of St. John, another place of the YMCA. It's a big field house track where you can do all kinds of sports and gym. And we have all kind of like big shopping mall, Costco, Walmart, Winners, Marshalls, all kind of shopping places and around also here. And also at that YMCA, we have like uh, indoor walking track, yeah. walking and running track, yeah. where I usually go and do some running. I go for badminton as well. I'm going to post uh, a little bit of uh, of a video short for that as well. Yeah, he always leave me and go play badminton on well, I never weekends. left you. Anyway, you usually come with me, don't you? Anyway, anyway, Whatever. but again, like we have this beautiful park that we will show you in a minute. It's just within a walking distance from our neighborhood. It's part of the school, Glen Falls School. It has a soccer field, basketball field. It has also a game area for kids and everything. And we'll show you around how it looks like. Yeah. Show Anyway, tell me, how do you like the east side of St. John versus west side of St. John? Uh, east side is very alive, pretty much. Like, there are so many things you can do. West side is kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say old and <laughs> boring, <laughs> but they don't have a lot of stuff down there. Definitely, as a newcomer, I would encourage you to choose the east side of St. John because even the University of New Brunswick and NBCC it's also on the east side so it's yeah. better for students who don't want to travel a lot and all that yeah and once you retire I would recommend going to west side because <laughs> it's more more calm and quiet place but east side is a little bit alive all right so it is beautiful neighborhood here today is Sunday so it's not busy everybody is out the the sun was out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah, the sun was out today. Yeah, we have been seeing a lot of uh, gray days here. Um, it was uh, it was good to see the sun out. Yeah, everybody was like happy. I could see all of our neighbors outside taking pictures and it's like, oh my God, it's a big of a deal. Yeah. But yeah, we enjoy spring and summertime here because every single minute in these seasons are very precious. I literally sometimes skip jobs so I can go home early and go for a walk or go somewhere. Don't tell my boss. But I do <laughs> it. I mean, honestly, why not? Well, you know what? This break, uh, no. Yeah, this Friday it was really good. It was almost like uh, 15 degrees. Um, and I finished early. I left, I left work early that day and then I called my friend and we went out. Okay, I'm going to be posting this on YouTube, okay? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure your boss is watching. Rich, Rich, <laughs> hey! <laughs> I told her I'm leaving early. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, when when I was on job, uh, during the break, lunchtime, I also went for a walk. Yeah. A quick stroll. It was really beautiful. You know, in summer, St. John is is it's the place to be the magic definitely kingdom i swear it's yeah just so the magic we, kingdom. we definitely recommend you if you are um, just visiting a beautiful small town in canada saint john is the place for you it becomes really beautiful in the summer yeah but do you like it in winter i do like it because in my winter is not just you know i mean we lived in wisconsin so we kind of went through with the snow and we got used to it 
So winter is not too bad for us. We still go out. We still do some winter activity. We do skiing, snowshoeing and all. So we, we try to be active even during winter time. And that's how you can honestly go through it because if you're gonna think of like, okay, I'm just gonna stay home or stay inside when it's winter, you're gonna probably waste half of your year yeah. just stuck inside, right? Yeah. So, By the way, we have um, made a snowshoeing video. We are going to be putting that link somewhere up here. <laughs> Make sure to go ahead and check that out. Um, that was really fun, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was really It was really a Rockwood fun. Park, yeah. 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 I loved it. Of course, yeah. Okay, let, let me show you guys a little bit of uh, the walking track. And by the way, this is not just a walking track. This is also a bike track as, a well. Bike track as well. So if you have a bike with fat tires, you can always come here and bike. Yeah. Okay. So that's the school. What is the name of this school? I think Forest Hill School. Oh, Forest Hill School. Okay. Yeah. Look at the clouds, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. And I can definitely tell you it uh, it seems more beautiful uh, with the naked eye. I'm pretty sure yeah. the camera won't capture what we can see right now. But still, I'm trying to show as much as I can. It's just amazing. It is, yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? Are you enjoying? I am enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Ayano. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's not put inside jokes. Yeah. <laughs> jokes. <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like this track is gonna take us to someplace wild, isn't it? Yeah, let's see where it will take us. Okay. I did not realize that we can see the whole city of St. John from up here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful and We'll come again in uh, summer and spring and this hall will be very different. Like it will all be so green Yeah, and all bright. these kind of dead trees, they will gloom in summer and you will see a lot of greenery around here. Yeah. So turn out that the track ahead is a little bit muddy. So I don't want my tennis shoes to get dirty. Therefore we decided to go back home. So. And also I have my badminton time as well. Um, now I'm gonna go and play some badminton with friends. Okay, so let's go back, change and head towards YMCA. I think this is for kids. Why are you sitting here? No, there is no age limit for this. Oh, okay. You wanna sit here? Where? Oh, I don't this think I'll be able to. Is it a helmet? <laughs> huh? Kids like Choto baby sits there. Oh, small babies. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it's helmet to oh go for a war God. or something. What? The... <laughs> watch a lot of Vikings movies. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a yeah, yeah. Viking helmet. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> Okay guys, this is it for today. We just finished our walk and now we're going back home. I gotta make some food for our lunches tomorrow. Back to work now. Yeah, uh, not weekend. But it was really nice walk um, yeah, in the neighborhood, yeah. right? We enjoyed our weekend, honestly. We've been so yeah. much, uh, hanging out. We've been hanging out with our friends and everything. Because actually COVID and New Brunswick have been lifted. So there's no mask required or nothing required. So. We were all hanging out and having fun and enjoying our freedom. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end. We really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel um, and we will be in touch with you. Thank you. Bye.